Hi, I'm Letitia, with cousins Alicia, Bryn, and Luciano at another one of Uncle Milt's famous parties. The song we are going to sing for you came about when I joined Granny and her friends at one of Hibernia's Irish pubs. Part of the evening's conversation was about an acquaintance who many years ago received an illuminated volume of the Canticles as a wedding gift from her parish priest. Granny and her friends concluded that the gift was a success because the bride and her husband had lots of children. Attributed to King Solomon, Canticles stands out as different from the rest of the library of books on history, law, prophecy, and poetry collectively known as the Bible, and thus makes an especially interesting subject for a song. Now there's a book called Canticles, or sometimes song of songs, that might cause some to ask why in the canon it belongs. It is a book of poetry that's of the central kind. It won't appeal to pious folk, just those of loving mind. Lift the chorus, speed it onward, loud its praises tell. It glorifies romantic love, and we think that is well. Tis said, twas writ by Solomon, whose mates someone did count. Three hundred concubines he had, and wives twice that amount. Since he was king, and must be seen as austere and as staid. In Proverbs, he disclaimed knowing ways of a man with a maid. Lift the chorus, speed it onward, loud its praises tell. It glorifies romantic love, and within that is well. Tis likely there are those who much prefer the songs as first. Especially ones that comfort rather than the ones that curse. This song ascends to Eros and not solely Agape. And further case examples of some poets in the lay. Imagine artist Rubens, who plump girls did often feed might tell his wife her belly is just like a heap of wheat, or breasts like young rose, or her navels like a goblet fine, the kind that always seem to be filled to brim with wine. <laughs> Let the chorus speed it onward loud its praises tell. It glorifies romantic love, and we think that it's well. Now there are those who likely think such poetry is rude, but it just shows religion's not exclusive to the proof. <laughs> It stands against false piety, morality that's blind. It signifies erotic love that's of the sanctioned kind. Let the chorus speed it 